I'm gonna ask people what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is and see if, if they know. Follow me, we're gonna go ask people now. You know what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is? Hey, do you know what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is? No. Hey, do you know what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is? No. Hey, do you know what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is? No. Do you know what Duchesne muscular dystrophy is? No. I'm going to go in a classroom now, and I'm going to ask the teacher what to see muscular dystrophy is. Follow me. Hi, miss. Hi, Shaquille. How are you? I'm good. I'm conducting a survey about if people know what to see muscular dystrophy is, which is a problem I have. Oh, okay. So I'm going to ask, like, what do you think of muscular dystrophy is? Um, well, honestly, Shaquille, I don't know a lot of details about, uh, about muscular dystrophy in general, but from what I do know, um, it is a disease that affects your muscles, muscles in your body. And that's what I know. I don't know statistics or numbers or things like that. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, you're welcome. Maybe you can tell me. Bye. Take care. See you, Take care. muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a progressive muscle weakening condition that is incurable and usually affects young boys. Basically, the boys cannot produce a protein, which is called dystrophy. Without dystrophy, the boy's muscles will weaken over time. The boys are born with this disease, which is genetic. A little about me. My name is Shaquille Herji and I am suffering from a disease which is called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My parents found out when I was only five years old. This happened when my family went to my family doctor um, to tell them about my athletic abilities in gym, discovered by my senior kindergarten teacher. The family doctor then referred me to Sick Kids Hospital for more muscular tests. The test came out positive, revealing that I have the shame muscular dystrophy. My mother was very devastated, but my father promised he would be the strong and positive one. Did you know that 60% of DMD comes from the mother's side, 30% of DMD comes from the father's side, and the other 10% comes from the mutation of genes between the two partners? Some of the problems a typical DMD patient would encounter are stair climbing, mobility problems including hand and leg movements, vision issues, emotional and social issues, they may feel isolated and lonely. Behavior issues, temper, anger, and at times fighting. Writing issues, they may need a scribe, as well as surgeries. The study of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Studies say that Duchenne muscular dystrophy is one of nine types of muscular dystrophies. It's a group of genetic degenerative diseases which mostly affects voluntary muscles. There is an absence of dystrophy a protein that helps keep muscle cells intact. Found in early childhood, about age two to eight. DMD primarily affects boys who have this disease from their mothers, like they inherit it from their mothers. Women can be carriers of DMD, but usually exhibit no symptoms, like they have no problems themselves. What is the ability of a student with Duchenne muscular dystrophy? A student with DMD is incredibly bright and smart. Their abilities are very high in reading, writing, and understanding. The DMD student, however, would need a little more processing time for general question and answers sessions, but they understand the issue at hand completely. Educational assistance help in motor skills, and that is the key to helping the student to success. Progression of DMD, age zero to 10. It's diagnosed in early life, age five to 10. Um, appearance is normal, slow in physical activity, slow in school educational activities, tend to have a little bit of behavior problems. 
Progression of DMD, age 10 plus. Physical change, walking, talking, thinking, body, and later on even heart and breathing change. Um, children go into wheelchair. Soon after that, they stop walking about age 10 plus. Heel cords are snapping, spinal problems, progressive back problems, arms and joint problems, surgeries, and sometimes doctor's appointments. Medication deflazacord. Deflazacord is a steroid used in Canada. Some side effects of deflazacord are hairiness, anger, frustration, behavioral problems, stunt growth, and causes cataracts. Keeping children with DMD strong and alive. Elongate mobility. Keep heart, pro abdomen, and other muscular groups working well. Over a six-year study, prolong life and slow down process. Pure pressure and behavioral issues. A DMD student usually feels isolated from his peer students, as other students make him feel very incompetent and unneeded. This would usually result in some serious behavioral issues in relation to being rejected by his friends. Awareness is key in all areas of the school, including friends, teachers, and helpers. Parents need to be more involved with the child's well-being. Most of these problems can be resolved if you guys could recognize the domino effect. The domino effect is um, different issues, what happens to the DMD patient. Um, first, there are social issues. When there are social issues, that affects their psychological issues. And when they have psychological issues, that affects their emotional issues. When they have emotional issues, it affects their behavioral issues. And from the behavioral issues, it affects their listening issues, like listening in class. And from the listening issues, it affects their understanding issues. Like if they can't hear what's going on in class, they won't understand what the next thing is. And from understanding issues, um, the learning issues. What is the key ingredient to these children's success in school? Understanding and awareness of DMD from fellow classmates, teachers, and helpers is key to the student's success in education and quality of life both in school and home. Possible solutions. There is no real cure but some possible solutions for now. Deflazacord, steroids, keeping children with DMD strong and alive, exercises and stretches, keeps children's muscles stretched and healthy. Promotes proper muscular and joint movements. Stretches tendons and muscles properly as mobility is limited. Sports. Sports such as hockey, basketball, curling, bocce, and softball. I myself love playing wheel hockey. I play in the Toronto Power Wheel Hockey League where kids with various disabilities who have limited upper body strength join. What other supplement medication is used with these patients? Some families use herbal medicine to be used together with Deflazacort in Canada and in the U.S. For your information, Shaquille takes six pills of Deflazacort and vitamin A, B, and C and E supplement every morning before leaving school. Did you know Deflazacort is used in Canada by approximately 95% of DMD patients? The other 5% of the DMD patients opt not to use steroids at all, thus suffering consequences of their decisions earlier in life. People involved some people involved are doctors, parents, siblings, the boy himself, and friends. For the doctors, for example, Dr. Douglas Bigger, he studies to chain muscular dystrophy at Burvey Kids Rehab. He works with children with DMD and is the lead doctor in researching DMD. He is a great promoter nationwide and worldwide of the steroid deflazacor and, and has noted, noted the data and research that links how deflazacor has improved the DMD kids quality of life. Did you know the Macmillan Kids Rehab Center carry forward research by individual patients anonymously and assigning each patient a different number? Research in many areas in the muscular and neuromuscular diseases is carried out here. For parents and siblings, it's hard to accept. Sometimes hard for parents to take care of their child. They get scared, worried, shocked. A lot of times parents wonder why that had to happen to them and suffer through depression. The boy himself goes through a lot of problems like bullying, peer pressure, which makes him feel hurt inside and which causes the boy to get angry or sad. Sometimes with bullying, the boy thinks he doesn't fit in and feels limited. Aside from that, the boy wonders the boy's condition, gets weaker over time, and needs stretches and exercise. Friends, they play a major role in the boy's life. 
when the boy has friends, he feels important, feels cared for, and feels like he belongs. One major thing is that the boy has someone else to talk to other than their family. We all find out the, all these boys with DMD are really normal, but the medication pushes these boys over the edge. We also find out that these issues are very much manageable and can be controlled just as long as these boys believe in themselves and the people who surround them as well. This is the key ingredient in these boys' mental and physical well-being. Any of your support in helping out with these children are always greatly appreciated. Shaquille Herji, a Maple High School student, is a standing example of that. However, he and his family decided that this condition of his will not take charge of his life, but it will change the course of others' lives through him. His courage to fight this deadly condition has made him a lot of very good and supportive friends, teachers, helping staff, and of course his fellow students. Life as we know it is very different with this little courageous boy who has incredible hope, fight, and positive attitude towards all things good in his life as God has wished upon him. I sometimes feel very lonely and sad. Some of my peers do not understand, or better yet, refuse to understand what I go through on a daily basis. My family, together with my dad's wise words, which always rings in my head, always be positive and we can change anything in this world and together we can make a big difference. With that, I pick myself up every day and live a productive, positive and very fulfilling life because no one knows what tomorrow brings.